Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the ECS cluster, which is the elastic container service provided by AWS. And we are going to set up the ECS cluster via Terraform. And I'm going to show you the capacity providers, uh, which is the automated service provided by AWS to manage your ECS EC2 launch uh, base containers. So let's begin. So what we will be doing that uh, we will be using this domain chaklayanmushtaq.com and um, currently if I just refresh it, uh, I, I will actually have done the testing. So um, currently we don't have any cluster. So um, this is uh, coming from the cache. So what I will be doing that I will uh, spin up one ECS cluster in this account and currently we don't have any ECS cluster and what uh, the architecture is going to be that um, we are going to spin up um, we are going to deploy the VPC along with the application load balancer and it is going to be on HTTPS for that uh, what I will be doing I will first of all uh, navigate to the ACM section and I'm going to uh, verify uh, my domain which is the saklanmushtaq.com and by the way this is uh, from the inventor of this Dusra Saklan Mushtaq uh, played a lot of uh, cricket for Pakistan as well so uh, what I will be doing that I will uh, I will um, spin up the ECS Fargate and ECS EC2 and on ECS EC2, I'm going to uh, give you some of the concepts regarding the uh, capacity providers. So um, this is the code we have for deployment. So let me show you a little bit uh, regarding the what is uh, capacity provider. So uh, this is the uh, AWS provided uh, diagram. So you can. Um, definitely read from AWS documentation what it says so I'm not going to cover all that um, big stuff uh, it is pretty much math calculation so uh, I know you guys are very good at math so so I'm going to cover the basics uh, from basics what we are going to do we are going to use this uh, base of zero and weight of one so um, as already mentioned in this example that um, it says the strategy to fully utilize reserve EC2 instance or if you have on demand uh, EC2 instance spin up or uh, spot EC2 instance spin up uh, you can also use with um, uh, ECS you can use the uh, um, ECS spot instance as well so it says that uh, base of 50 means and zero means launch 50 tasks on that particular provider which we are going to set up and I'm going to show you that and on that particular provider, we are going to use only one node. And after that, then stop distributing new task 50 on that. So new tasks are not going to be deployed on that particular uh, node. And those tasks are going to be deployed somewhere else, uh, which is uh, with the base of zero and weight of one. So if uh, I deploy a new node uh, with a different capacity provider and I change the base to zero and weight of one, so um, what it says is don't uh, launch any tasks on this provider initially but launch 100% of new tasks. So um, after 50, the 51th task are going to be on this capacity provider. Uh, which, uh, I'm going to use three capacity provider. I'm going to show you that in the demo as well. So this is how capacity provider work. It is more of a uh, deployment sort of uh, calculation how you can deploy or manage your uh, capacity provider and this is the concept of base and um, weight so there is uh, quite a bit uh, documentation regarding that you can read that but this is the basic stuff uh, I just want to cover so anyway uh, as far as the code is concerned if I navigate to my um, main TA file and what we are going to do I'm going to simply deploy the uh, I'm not going to use any backend for uh, this um, deployment I'm going to use the VPC along with that I'm going to um, create EC2 KPS uh, if I want to SSH into my ECS EC2 machine so for that I have already uh, made keys so and then I have uh, RD security group along with that um, I have um, 
um, application security group uh, uh, and also um, I have uh, let me show you so these are the ports which I've allowed uh, on my application um, which only allows traffic from application load balancer and I have a separate security group for application load balancer which is going to be uh, I'm going to show you later in this uh, drag down so uh, this is the instance provide profile which uh, I have some policies uh, which uh, definitely I'm not going to cover all the stuff so just need to uh, show you that uh, this EC2 instance profile has um, EC2 instance role uh, which allows me to do um, access uh, certain services on AWS like pull uh, images from ECR or EC2 cons SSM console access uh, stuff like that so along with that uh, ECS service uh, uh, authentication as well so this is the front-end application load balancer uh, I'm going to uh, use this security group and on that uh, particular ap application front-end load balancer I'm going to allow only port 443 so even not port 80 is allowed so uh, that is why I'm going to create this S SSM so if I navigate to the SSM section um, let me simply navigate to that certificate manager sorry I'm I'm saying SSM instead of I should say the ACM uh, certificate manager service so if I navigate to this uh, request a certificate and I'm going to request a certificate let me just simply for all my sub domains as well and the naked domain name is saklanmushtaq.com which is my main domain and I've requested the search for all my subdomain as well so I'm going to uh, simply add these entries in my um, DNS so let me make these entries as well so what I will be doing let me simply uh, upgrade this okay so this is the DNS which I'm going to use and I'm going to say this after verification it is going to simply allow me to you know uh, use the search um, valid ACM search so I'm going to simply copy this ARN and I'm going to update this one so uh, these are the ALP listeners and uh, automatically it is going to uh, redirect the traffic to HTTPS and the domain I've already shown you guys that for uh, Fargate I'm going to use separate domain uh, separate subdomain and for EC2 instance uh, ECS launch type I'm going to use a different domain so these are the domain this is the search it is uh, this is the dusra dash Fargate dot .com. so we are going to use uh, Fargate uh, for Fargate deployment I'm going to show you later first of all we are going to deploy the infrastructure uh, which includes the ECS auto scaling uh, which includes the um, cluster along with the capacity provider as well so let me finish uh, with the theory part as well so these are the uh, target groups which we are going to create uh, with this for EC2 and EC2 ECS EC2 instance launch type. So these are the target groups. Okay. So this is the cluster I'm going to create um, CloudGeek CA ECS. So these are the capacity providers. These uh, I'm going to use uh, three capacity providers so um, these are the managed capacity providers for regarding the weight and base i've already talked about i'm going to use um, this uh, mathematics so you can use uh, how you want to use even you can use mix of um, on-demand ecs along with the spot ecs for both uh, fargate and ecs ec2 launch type so uh, that is it what we are going to do now I'm going to simply navigate uh, 
to my directory and this is the directory let me zoom in a bit for you guys and i'm going to simply navigate into this directory so um so if i navigate to terraform ecs and if i go to the environment section in dev we have this terraform main tf and output so uh, this will deploy all the infrastructure so currently i don't have um, module installed so i'm going to start with terraform in it which is going to initialize all the modules for us and it is going to create this uh, directory here let me show you that as well so this is the directory uh, it is it has set up so all the modules are going to be in this particular hidden directory so it is currently installing and this is the uh, provider section so what i have done i have just commented out the dot 50 uh, if you have if you don't mention any um, provider it will uh, will it will fetch the latest provider uh, for you guys so this is the region and i'm going to use the latest version and uh, my terraform version is terraform version is this one uh, pretty much uh, the latest okay uh, currently i'm using 1.02 so this is the version so anyway the minor version is available as well so i'm going to apply uh, the infrastructure with regard uh, to the ECS so this will deploy the complete infrastructure for us uh, it will set up a VPC it will launch application load balancer it will set up the target groups and it will um, set up the ECS cluster as well so then we are going to automatically automatically deploy our um, applications uh, which is on Fargate and EC2 ECS on that. So let me deploy this stuff as well. So it is going to uh, deploy 71 resources. So simply, uh, if I just simply refresh it, it will, uh, it says issued. So uh, what I will be doing, um, first of all, show you guys the VPC section as well. So in the VPC section, you will see that our VPC is going to be deployed in US East 1 and uh, the navigate, navigate to the VPC section. So this is the ECS dev VPC. What I will be doing, uh, I'm going to simply copy this uh, VPC ID and paste it here. So uh, this is the infrastructure uh, we are going to deploy. So anyway, if I navigate to the EC2 section and once everything is done, what it is going to do, it is going to provision the application load balancer. And then if you navigate to the listener section, once the application load balancer provision, it will um, also set up the listeners as well. Uh, on port 80, uh, I have not allowed anything. So um, you will see that um, there is going to be a warning that security group is not allowed. So only uh, port uh, 443 HTTPS is allowed. So uh, one thing another I need to show you that um, regarding the application load balancer so these are the availability zones which we are going to use and further as far as the security group uh, is concerned these this is the security group which is going to be um, set up on application load balancer so you if you see only port 443 which is the https uh, is allowed on um, application load balancer this is the front end application load balancer which we are setting up so traffic from only from um, application load balancer is allowed here and this is the dynamic port mapping which i've set up for ecs ec2 launch type and for fargate it is going to connect with this port so so if i uh, show you this is the um, internet facing uh, load balancer if i navigate to the listeners listeners section you will see that listeners are going to be available once the deployment is done so it is still saying uh, provisioning the application load balancer so 
along with that uh, if you navigate to the vpc section we have uh, automated all the stuff the route tables are going to be set up for us and this is the route tables which we are setting along with that we have internet gateway with with all the stuff with proper tagging as well so if i navigate to the net gateway one net gateway we are going to use to save uh, some of the cost along with that uh, we have security group section which i have already almost covered so uh, i guess i uh, should close this and now concentrate on this stuff so what it does it will um, once provision it will set up um, the two listeners for us so let it complete so it will take some time about uh, three to five minutes um, this is the approximate time for application load balancer provisioning so uh, this is done so let me simply refresh it and or i should refresh the page as well so anyway it is in the state uh, it's saying it is still deploying so it is still creating so we have to wait also i can pause the video but i just want to show you guys the uh, almost everything live that we are going to uh, uh, deploy the stuff um, so along with that we just not uh, deployed the application load balancer if i navigate to the target group section you will see that this is the default target I have created along with that Nginx ECS EC2 for dev environment and this is the Nginx ECS Fargate type. So for Fargate I'm using the um, type IP for uh, Nginx ECS EC2 launch type I'm going to use the uh, target type uh, instance along with that as I told you that we are going to use the three um, launch configuration along with the three auto scaling group uh, and one thing i need to tell you regarding the auto scaling group that um, if you navigate to this section the desired capacity is set to zero and min and max capacity uh, i mean min is zero desired is zero max is one so what is mean by that which means our um, our uh, capacity is going to be controlled by automatically through capacity providers so uh, that is why i need to show you guys as well so if you navigate to the automatic scaling section you see this is the policy which is set up by the ecs service uh, this is not set up by me and it is going to automatically scale up and scale down the ec2 instance machines uh, what is mean by that which means that if you need one container that particular container is going to be host on a machine so before that uh, before launching that container that machine needs to be present so what it does it launch that particular ec2 instance and in that particular ec2 instance that container is going to be hosted so anyway this is the theory with regard to that and if i navigate to uh, uh, this infrastructure is deployed and if I navigate to the target uh, sorry load balancer section if I navigate to the listeners section you will see two listeners are going to be available now so this is the front end load balancer and these are the two listeners you see I have talked about this security group warning so that definitely nothing is allowed on port 80 so these are the um, Mains uh, which we are going to cover regarding the deployment, Fargate and EC2 instance launch type. And now it's time to navigate to the uh, cluster section. If I simply refresh it, you will see that this cluster ECS is set up. So, regarding theory uh, with regard to the capacity provider, if I navigate to the capacity provider section, uh, we have automated pretty much all the stuff in this uh, Terraform uh, module which I have set up so you see uh, the min and max size is uh, one one so uh, it is uh, set to zero because if you see ecs uh, instance there is no ecs instance so there are no services as well what now i will be doing to show you guys that how it is going to be automatically 
triggered that particular um, um, EC2 instance. Uh, that part, uh, particular policy I've already shown you guys and let me now navigate to my uh, code section what I will be doing navigate to the ECS directory in ECS directory I have set up um, one service ECS EC2 launch type and ECS fargate so what I will be doing I will be simply bring that particular service to our infrastructure and it is going to use this particular uh, ECS cluster so this is the code with regard to that so what I will be doing is simply updating I will simply update this uh, account ID with my current account ID so so uh, the point here I want to show you guys that um, it is going to automatically launch first an EC2 instance and then bring that container on that so it is now automatically done to the um, uh, what I should say uh, through the uh, ECS capacity provider okay if I do the Terraform apply okay. what it says now So uh, one thing I need to tell you guys uh, that service is going to be provisioned in a moment. So because uh, there is no EC2 instance host is available. So what it does, it will uh, do the automation itself uh, by launching one EC2 instance machine and it is going to launch that particular container on that so what i will be doing that i will be doing uh, let me show you this part as well so this is the nginx ec2 uh, instance launch type and the memory and cpu is going to be very minimal 256 and 256 memory and 256 cpu uh, millicore is the unit and 256 uh, mb is a ram i'm going to use for this uh, container and uh, this is uh, required capability capability is ec2 instance launch type okay so um, host zero means we are going to use the dynamic host port mapping uh, which is uh, which means that uh, you can launch uh, the same um, container ports uh, with the different services on that particular host as well so uh, i will show you that part as well so um, application load balancer is going to dynamically send the traffic to that so this is the image I'm going to use uh, for this um, deployment and uh, this will show you the green image which I've already shown you guys so simply if I navigate to this I hope caching has gone so you see nothing is uh, available now that particular stuff is now updated so anyway I have to update the in the ECS, uh, sorry, if I navigate to the application load balancer section, let me simply navigate to this part. So what I will be doing, I will update my DNS to this application load balancer and simply I will update the EC2 and Fargate type as well. So let me save this and also i'm going to save update this guy and save it so this uh, stuff is pretty much done from my side and i'm going to simply close this okay now what i will be doing that um, okay so uh, if i navigate to this section so it says the deployment is pretty much done so if i refresh it you will see currently you might see that uh, desired and current size has automatically changed although if i navigate to my ec auto scaling section i've already shown you guys i have set the desired and um, this stuff desired and min capacity uh, sorry uh, min capacity to zero 
so desired is automatically changed to 1 and max as 1. So what it does if you navigate to the ECS section it will uh, it will try to launch one EC2 instance machine in fact it has already launched it and in that particular EC2 ECS machine our service is, uh, is going to be running. So as we updated the DNS so if I navigate to this uh, section it should bring our application back. So this is the EC2 instance launch type. Uh, hopefully you will get a better understanding. So if I navigate to the ECS task definition section, let me show you. Uh, it, it is going to automatically set up the task definition for us. So um, this is the stuff I've already showed you that and what uh, task role and uh, memory I'm going to use. And this is the image. Let me show you that image as well. So this is the image I'm already using. So this is the container definition. So all that stuff is going to be automatically set up for us. So via Terraform, it is going to be very easy regarding your initial deployment and CI CD process. You can use the code pipeline or Jenkins, whatever you feel comfortable with. So currently, if I just refresh it, I will uh, definitely see nothing here because we don't have set up our Fargate service. So what I will be doing now, navigate to my section of Terraform and if I navigate to the environment dev and if I go to the ECS section, I will bring my Fargate dev service to here. So if I uh, navigate to, uh, let me simply copy this section as well. Okay, let me open this Fargate stuff. So uh, this is the launch type. You see Fargate requires capability Fargate. So I'm going to for this. I'm going to use this image blue QuickBooks 2018 blue. And uh, let me simply update the class service section. Um, update me. This is the cluster section and I'm going to update my account IP. Sorry account. Um, address with this so this is my account this is my account ID and I have already already updated so uh, let's begin I'm going to say let's terraform apply what it will do uh, it is going to be a lot more quicker than the EC2 instance because we have uh, Fargate uh, which is the serverless service where we don't have to manage our um, OS patching our host machine so that is going to be uh, done from the AWS side so uh, we are we just need to concentrate on our container so um, I'm going to simply use this Fargate and you will see that deployment is going to be um, far more quicker on this uh, Fargate type. So let me, I'm going to show you the services as well. Uh, as well, let me simply show you that part. So uh, what we have that we are going to use these uh, log groups as well. So we have two log groups I've created for the Fargate and ECS, EC2 launch type. So is currently provisioning and EC2 we have already ECS EC2 uh, we have already launched and also if you navigate to the container insights uh, the amount of resources uh, it is going to consume or access is going to be available here so you see the amount of CPU and the average memory utilization for both uh, uh, for our uh, in the next and this is the cluster section above on that so let me show you that as well so this is uh, very good or uh, very I mean useful uh, stuff provided by AWS where you can see the resources section so uh, CloudWatch itself is a very powerful tool it is very flexible as well so I highly recommend CloudWatch to monitor the services so um, anyway this uh, if I navigate to my um, 
URL, it should uh, bring this particular service. So it is now um, pointing to our Fargate. So if I navigate to the services section, so let me first of all tell you that this task definition is created. So this is the task we created on the Fargate type and this is the uh, networking mode is AWS VPC and it is the memory and CPU we need for our application and this is the image we have used along with that these are the log group uh, we are going to use uh, CloudWatch so if I navigate to the cluster section uh, you will see that um, let me show you the cluster section as well so you see uh, if you see that EC2 has one service and Fargate has one service uh, which means that we can definitely use combination of both uh, in ECS and EKS as well. Uh, we can use both, uh, sorry, um, yeah, in ECS and EKS, we can use both EC2 and Fargate launch type. So in EKS, uh, they've also uh, provided the Fargate. I have already made a tutorial with regard to that. You can watch that as well. So if I uh, click on this cluster type, you will see that uh, these two services are running so this is hosted on um, ec2 machine and these are the stats with regard to the service launch if you click update you want to change the desired uh, capacity or whatever you want to do so you see this is the capacity provider section with the with the base of uh, one and zero we are using this in our uh, deployment which is uh, pretty much automated this is the auto scaling we have set up and i have i'm using the three policies here let me show you those as well so the policies also are going to be automatically done uh, via the terraform um, which is uh, really flexible in a way that deployment so i'm using the three policies this is the cpu auto scaling memory and this is the application load balance request uh, number of requests on your ec2 instance uh, on your container so i guess uh, i've completed a lot of stuff and the length of the video is uh, getting too much let me just cover the fargate type as well so if i navigate to the section this is the fargate and you see uh, fargate was already mentioned there as well so this is the auto scaling and if i update same policies are applied here deployments everything is done automatically via the terraform so guys that is it from my side if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you very much have a nice day